Fifteen of them. Three hundred. Why didn't you check them? No, you don't, do you? You don't expect that, not from somebody with a scalp condition. Did you describe him? Yes, well, he is, at this moment, wearing a Roger Moore. One of our more popular lines and completely waterproof. Waterproof? Yes, it uh, keeps the rain off. Oh, for what? They have brains. You can swim in a Roger Moore using our special exclusive adhesive. Well, apart from glue on his scalp, any other distinctive features? No, no, I'd say nondescript, give or take. Scars, moles, big hooter, dodgy eye. No, no, as I say, nondescript, face in the crowd, ordinary. Mind you, I'd recognise his scalp anywhere. Unfortunately, we don't have a file on cranium prints. Well, there was one thing, could be a clue. He left his old wig here. A cheap nylon hairpiece circa 1972. An early angle bit humper dink, I should say. In need of renovation. Renovation? You've got real dandruff. It's not in the best of condition. I've seen better looking rats down the old East India dock. <laughs> yeah, Jones tried on. Yeah, what have I done? Do you want a list? We're trying to picture the face beneath this apparition. Now try it on. I feel all right, Burke, yeah? True, true. The syrup. What? Syrup with figs? Who? A character known to the police. Oh, I. I'll uh, take this Irish into custody. A bit of plastic bag or something. Of course. You got a suspect? Yes, well, you uh, could say he has a price on his head. That's an amazing bit of deduction, Sergeant. <laughs> By the way, have you ever thought about a hairpiece yourself? Why? Well, we are receding a little, sir, aren't we? We get by. I'm sure you do, but it can be disabling, socially, I mean, professionally even. I think sir's macho image might be greatly enhanced with a Burt Reynolds, one of our range, or even a Starsky. Very popular, the upper ranks down at the yard. I was going to suggest that to you, Gav. No way. Yes. No. No, not really. Shall I take the plastic bag? 